What is up everybody, Will the Outlaw here with another video review and uh, today we are going to be looking at, as you can see, uh, the uh, Voltron 25th Anniversary uh, Metallic Finish Masterpiece uh, figure. Um, as you can see, this is the uh, the Masterpiece, uh, the uh, US release Masterpiece uh, um, released by Toynami a couple years ago, which was re-released here in the US. Um, with a slightly uh, metallic finish to the uh, to the paint jobs. Um, first of all, let's take a look at the uh, the packaging. Um, it does come in this nice uh, metallic foil uh, box. Uh, it has a, a nice little um, picture of Voltron there with a metallic finish, um, defending the universe for 25 years. Voltron.com course the Voltron Defender of the Universe. Um, it's got some nice action poses of all the lions on the side. Um, and a nice little picture of Voltron right there. Um, and of course it has a little handle. Um, which I think it's a nice nice uh, nice little touch. You open up the box. Second. Open up the box. You can see that it does have a nice. Um, of course, I've already taken out the lions, but they do have a uh, nice little display look to it, where uh, each individual lion has its name, color, and, and everything. So uh, that's where this shield goes, and that's where the sword goes, and everything. It's uh, very nice. If you want to have it displayed, you can have it like that, and it uh, looks very cool. So uh, back to the. Uh, figures themselves. Um, they're very, very nice if I do say so myself. Um, I'm very glad I was able to pick this guy up. He, um, I wasn't able to, I was never able to have the, uh, the original. So, um, I'm glad that with the uh, 25th anniversary, that was a couple years ago, that they were able to, um, re-release the Voltron figure, um, as a uh, masterpiece and um, similar to what they did with the Transformers masterpiece uh, uh, better detail, more articulated, however very faithful to the original cartoon uh, and take a look at the individual lines here uh, here we have the uh, left leg or the right leg, whichever you prefer, it really doesn't matter where you uh, where you place them um, this is the yellow line which was uh, piloted by uh, Hung in the original in the cartoon series um, he is uh, mostly yellow with uh, different uh, paint jobs and different paint job across the black with the red and uh, of course the number five there um, not much to it. Uh, it, it it does have a slightly metallic uh, paint job to it however it, it's kind of hard to tell unless you're really looking for it um, and the mouth does open and of course, due to the uh, the transformation, the head can move up and down. It can look uh, side to side, move around. It is on a little ball joint, so uh, it does have a little little bit of movement. The le it's uh, it is a bigger figure, so it, it does have uh, it is kind of light because you know this is a hollow plastic, since that's where the uh, the um, the connector is. But it does have um, very heavy ratchets on the on the joints so you know they move very nicely and they can you know the legs can move around and everything and you can have them some very nice poses so I go and of course it's got the uh, tail right here the tail doesn't move but um, you know that's uh, that's okay here's the uh, blue lion which was piloted by uh, Princess Allura and uh, before her it was piloted by uh, the character Sven, uh, and he was injured, and uh, Princess Allura took over, and uh, she remained the pilot. Um, this um, this particular one is basically the same figure, but with a few slightly remolded areas. Uh, you can see that it's got um, a different different look to the top of it. Other than that, it's basically the same figure. Um, the remolds is most prominent on the head, where this one has 
a more regular lion-like head. Um, this one has more of a robotic look to it, um, especially up top here. It's got kind of like a multicolored, um, I guess uh, I've heard some people call it a royal symbol to it. Um, and uh, it looks uh, very, very nice. Um, in the original series, this line was powered by water. Uh, this was powered by uh, sand and uh, the ground. Um, we went on to the red line, which was um, piloted by the character Lance. Um, this particular one was pi was uh, powered by fire, and um, the limbs are, are are the arms of Voltron are actually better articulated, um, even though they are smaller, uh, due to the fact that it does have like an elbow joint here. But you know it's um, it helps with the articulation, and you know this one can move around a little better. Um, this one has more of a metallic finish to it. it, it the, I, the paint job, in my opinion, is better. Uh, it pulls off the, the metallic uh, thing a little bit better than the uh, than the larger ones for some reason. Uh, maybe it's the color. I'm not sure, but uh, there you go. Um, the green lion is piloted by uh, Pidge, and um, this one, I think, in my opinion, is is the best looking lion. Um, this one was piloted by air. Uh, it's the best looking line because the, the paint job just looks better. It, it just um, um, it just comes across better in green, and uh, it, it's um, it's definitely the the better looking one. This one and the blue one, I think, in my opinion, are, are the better looking ones. Uh, as you can see, as the one before, it can it does have a lot of articulation and everything. So um, you know, you can even get them in. Um, get him in a sitting pose. So, which is pretty cool. So, there you go. And here, of course, last but not least, the Black Lion, which is piloted by Keith, and which is powered by lightning. And, uh, of course, he's the leader of the Voltron Force, and um, he forms a mid-torso. Um, this lion is it is the biggest and it is the most articulated due to the fact that it is the um, uh, the centerpiece. Um, the head can move up and down, and uh, or the neck can move up and down. The head itself is actually on two joints, uh, two places of movement. It can move side to side like that, and it is also on a ball joint so that it can it can move around um, kind of freely. Um, my only complaint about this is that the neck is kind of loose on mine. I don't know if this is a uh, general problem with uh, everyone else's, but um, on mine it's, it is loose. Um, articulation is actually the best out of all of them uh, for this one. And uh, it's, it's um, definitely, definitely very nice. The, the paint job is just, is just uh, excellent. The, the black that they use has little metallic uh, hints to it and it uh, really adds to the figure um, of course all the uh, uh, Voltron aspects are on the bottom uh, and they come across very nice in the the uh, final robot mode um, okay well that does it for the individual uh, lions uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to uh, switch over to part two and uh, show you how to put this guy together and uh, give the final review on the um, whole um, the, on the set as a whole. So, uh, go on to part two.